Hi there, this is Fionn, the creator of Jarway Digital. I create and sell digital planners, stickers, and printables. Today, I'm going to show you how to use this beautiful witchy team widgets to stay productive and also stay connected to your spiritual witchy self. They are altogether 152 widgets. They are mainly related to witchcraft, such as the tarot card spread, crystal cleansing, runes, spell work, and so many more. These widgets also have some productivity related ones such as the habit tracker, food tracker, and so on. They are also available in the light mode and also dark mode. The reason why I am creating this witchy team widgets is because I've been receiving some feedback from my customers who have bought the witchy planners and would like to have some additional features like the habit tracker, daily tarot card spread, and so on. And I understand some of you may have already bought other planners but would like to integrate some spiritual related elements into your planner. So that is why I've decided to create these widgets so you can add them into your planner. So what are digital widgets? Digital widgets are simply digital stickers that have additional features that can expand the functionality of your planner. For instance, in this daily page, it does not come with any habit tracker, so I can simply add one widget in here, so I can keep track of my daily habit. I have previously demonstrated some ways to download the digital files from Google Drive, so you can go ahead and click on the link above this video to check out the tutorial. So today I am going to show you how to download the GoodNotes pre-crop widget files from Google Drive. Now over here at the Google Drive, select the GoodNotes file which is at the bottom here. So I'm just going to tap on it and download it. Download anyway. I'm going to download that again. Now tap on the circle with the arrow pointing down and then tap on the widget and then over here at the top right hand corner you will see a square with an arrow pointing up select that select the open in good notes so you can choose to either import to current document or import as new document and in this case i'm going to import it as a new document i'm going to choose the location where i want to store my widgets so I'm going to store in my widget, my Witchy Planner. And there you go. This is how easy you can download the GoodNotes file into your GoodNotes document. There are mainly three ways which you can use the widgets. Firstly, you can use the pre-crop GoodNotes file and choose the widget from there. So for example, if I want to use this widget, all I have to do is to Choose the lasso tool, which is the dotted curvy line. Tap on that and select the widget that I want to use. So I can draw a circle, hold it, and then choose copy. Go to the planner again. Tap on it and long hold, choose paste. And this will be my post-it note here. Now, you can also choose to adjust the size of the post-it by tapping onto the picture tool over here. Tap on it again, and you can adjust the size of it. And by tapping on the arrow button on top, you can also crop it. So for example, if I want to crop out the shadow, I can also do that. And you will see that it's without the shadow. Or I can also crop it freehand, so it will come out whichever form or shape that I want it to be. The second method is using drag and drop. All the widgets that you have downloaded can be stored in the photo album or in the files. So what you can do is to pull up the bottom bar and choose the location where all the widgets are. Since all the widgets are now stored in my file, so I will select File. I'm going to tap on that and drag it to the side of my iPad. Let me just adjust it for a while. Okay, and I can choose whichever widget I want. 
So for example, I want to choose the tile cut spread. All I have to do is a tap on it and then drag it to my GoodNotes file. And then I can adjust it and then place it on top of my post-it note. The third method is using the photo album. And this can only be done if you have the widget stored in your photo album. So to do that, all I have to do is to tap on the picture tool, which is over here, tap on it and choose whichever widget I want. And in this case, I'm going to choose the washi tape and I'm going to select that, adjust the size of it. Or I can choose the dried flower over here to give it a more realistic look. If you have a widget that you frequently use, you may also use the picture tool, which is over here, tap on it, and then add element. So choose whichever location that you want to add your element into. So the next time if you want to use the same widget, you can go straight to the element, which is here, tap on it, and you will find the widget over here. Thank you so much for watching till the end of this video. If you like this video, do give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. If you have any questions, do leave them at the comment section. Do also check out the links below for the Digital Witchy Team widgets and digital planners. Happy planning and I'll see you again. Bye!